the internet can be a scary place sometimes. With hackers and malware ready to steal your data, what can you do to stay safe? Thankfully, Surfshark VPN has a plan for you. Surfshark provides an affordable service to mask your device's location and also keep your data secure. Whether it's binge watching your favorite foreign shows or staying safe on the go, Surfshark's desktop and mobile apps have you covered. And right now, if you use my affiliate link, you can save 81% on your first two years of service. Get Surfshark VPN today and secure your digital life. Hey guys, welcome back to The Wandering Wind. Today I want to share something awesome with you today. And for those of you who are fans of The Owl House, you're going to enjoy this because this is six things that you might have missed in the Season 2 trailer. Number six is Luz's mom. Now, one of the main things that I was surprised to see was a scene in the trailer where Luz's mom is um, actually shown in the, in the picture. I mean, from the image we see of her in the background, there seems to be a bit of a web map, like one, one of those ones you see in most popular films where you yeah, got strings from one thing to the next, just trying to connect the dots and maybe find a bigger picture. Um, we don't know if she's been the one making it, but a few things that pop out are the key tied up in it all and the silhouette of someone who looks to be holding a staff. What does this mean? Where does Camilla go from here? We don't know, but hopefully we'll find something out about it this season. What do you guys think? Do you think possibly Camilla might make her way to the Boiling Isles? If so, how do you think she'll manage to do it? Number five, Wild Magic. As we know from the, from the episode two synopsis, Luz and her friends are expelled thanks to Amity's parents, with Luz striking up a deal to get them back in, quite possibly being her agreeing to quit doing magic altogether, possibly with an unbreakable oath thrown in for good measure. As, you know, the parents probably taught Amity about this thing, and that's why she used it during the convention episode during the Witch's Duel. Um, another theory posed by Another channel posed the idea that Gus and Willow wouldn't let that happen and would make a different deal with pretty much the same everlasting oath that they would stop learning magic at Hexside. The loophole here being that there is magic that isn't taught at Hexside, so they wouldn't be learning it there. So this may leave open a loophole for wild magic being an option. Based on these two scenes of Gus using fire magic, which obviously is not part of the Illusion Coven at all, this theory is made more plausible. Number four, the Coven Leaders. Now, we already saw this in the Season 2 intro, but now that we have seen the actual faces of the Coven Leaders, it is more interesting that they will most likely be given screen time. Now what exactly the screen time will consist of, whether or not they will have any any involvement in what is known as the Day of Unity is still up in the air, but my guess is there is going to be some ties to Bellis's ultimate plan and their involvement. Number three, Blight Industries. Now, we already know that the Blights are a pretty big deal on the, the Isles, especially considering the Amity has so much pressure put onto her, but in two separate scenes we see a banner portraying the name Blight Industries, with one scene showing what is obviously one of Amity's relatives, showing off an abomination-themed weapon of some kind, shooting green smoke, and another is showing what seems to be a more advanced form of abomination, sporting golden armor and a glowing gem on its chest. Could this be some influence of Bellis' technology or something different? We do not know. However, I would not put it past the Blights to be a powerful technical, technological and magical force in the Boiling Isles and possibly have some connections way high up in the, in the uh, chain of command. Number two is something I've really been wanting to know about, and that is more of Ida and Lil Lilith's past 
However, from the scenes that we see in the trailer, it is more of Ida's past that we're going to be seeing for the most part. In episode four, we know that Ida gets an unwelcome visit from a family member who puts a strain on everyone in the Owl House. While it is unknown what relation exactly this woman has, we now know her appearance and her um, talisman, which appears to be either a condor or a an eagle of some kind based on the size and shape. And we also know her apparent age roughly. I mean, Ida doesn't look like she should be as young as she probably is, but we don't know exactly because the only other reference we have is Lilith being her sister and Lilith looking young, so we don't know if that might be the curse or something else, although we do see a scene where Lilith is suffering from the curse, and so we don't know exactly what kind of changes that will bring, but just in, you know, in general, we see that, um, you know, we're going to see more of Ida's past. There are also scenes which point to possible flashbacks as well as possible unpleasant memories if the scene with Ida hiding in the doorway is any indication at all. And then finally, the most exciting news, Ida, I mean, Luz gets a staff and possibly a palisade. Now, in the trailer, right off the bat, about halfway through, we see the Owl Spy using a peculiar staff that looks to be very similar, if not actually based off the one that Bellis used in the season one finale, suggesting that he's either of some importance or is high enough up to be granted this honor of using the uh, technomancy that Bellos is, you know, either pioneering or has brought into the Boiling Isles. Literal seconds later, however, we see Luz using the same staff. Given that her outfit is the same as the scene where she's tied up and using her foot to activate an ice glyph, possibly to escape, we can safely assume that it was one from the Owl Spy and that we will see more of what exactly transpired for this to happen. And, I mean, we don't know if this is going to be a permanent thing or if it's just for that episode. Hopefully she gets to keep it, but possibly Ida will say, no, you need to earn your staff or... Most likely, she'll be more cautious about using it, considering it's used with the same technology, I mean, built with the same technology that Bellos uses, and therefore possibly either has some sort of connection to Bellos or has some sort of way for him to spy on them, which I would not put past this guy. I would not put past this guy, considering how devious he's been. Anyway, that's six things you may have missed in the Owl House Season 2 episode trailer. As always, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, and as always, I will see you guys again in the next video. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. See you later.